Hi guys, welcome to Know Math. Today we will discuss finding x in the form of arithmetic sequence. This lesson is intended for high school mathematics, especially for grade 10 students. My name is Sir Bench Antonio. And if you are not yet subscribed on my channel, please hit like and subscribe for more of my videos and for you to get notified once I uploaded my new video. Some problems in arithmetic sequence are having the terms in the form of algebraic expression. Example, if 3x minus 4, 2x plus 7, 6x minus 12, and so on, form an arithmetic sequence, find the value of x. So for us to answer this kind of problem, let us show that 3x minus 4 is our first term or a sub 1. 2x plus 7 is our a sub 2, and 6x minus 12 is our a sub 3. And we all know that in, a, in an arithmetic sequence, we have this what we call pattern, or the common difference. And for us to get the difference of each term, let's say the first difference, we need to subtract the second term to the first term. And for this to become common, Let's say we have the difference 2. Let us subtract the a sub 3 or the third term to the second term. We can use this idea for us to solve the value of x. So let's say the first difference is equal to the second difference. That a sub 2 minus a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 minus a sub 2. They are equal. So since that a sub 2 is 2x plus 7 minus the first term of 3x minus 4, it is equal to the third term 6x minus 12 subtracted to the second term of 2x plus 7. So in this case, we can use algebra for us to find the value of x. Let us evaluate. So let us remove first the parentheses, 2x plus 7, since it is a subtraction, change the sign of the terms. We have negative 3x from positive, then plus 4 from negative 4, equals, remove the parentheses, 6x minus 12, minus 2x, minus 7, as we are going to change the sign of the second term. So evaluate, 2x minus 3x is negative x. 7 plus 4 is positive 11. Of course, on the other side of the equal sign, 6x minus 2x, we have 4x. And negative 12 minus 7 is negative 19 by combining like terms. So since that we are looking for the value of x, let us transpose each of the terms which are alike. So negative x and positive 4x, we need to combine them. By transposing positive 4, that will become negative 4x. And by transposing positive 11 to the other side, that will become negative 11. That we have negative 19, still negative, as we did not transpose it. So we have here minus 11. So evaluate negative x minus 4 is negative 5x. And it is equal to negative 19 minus 11 is negative 30. So for us to find x, divide both sides by negative 5. And cancel. Now our x value is positive 6 and this is now the value of x having x value of 6 we can substitute x here on our terms so if x is 6 times 3 18 minus 4 we have here 14 for the first term the second term 6 times 2 we have 12 plus 7 and that is 19 and 6 times 6 is 36 minus 12, we have 24. 
and these are the first three terms of the given arithmetic sequence. But the problem is find the value of x, therefore the answer is 6. Okay, let us try another example. Find the value of x so that x plus 1, 3x minus 2, and 4x plus 5 form an arithmetic sequence. So, what are we going to do is to show that x plus 1 is our first term, 3x minus 2 is our second term, 4x plus 5 is our third term. Take note that the first common difference should be equal to the second common difference in a form of a sub 2 minus a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 minus a sub 2. Then, what is our a sub 2? We have 3x minus 2, then subtract 2, x plus 1 as our first term. It is equal to a sub 3 minus a sub 2, that is 4x plus 5, minus 3x minus 2. Take note that we have a grouping symbol, so we need to eliminate first the grouping symbols by simplifying the equation. So we have 3x minus 2. Since this is a subtraction, we need to change the signs. Negative x or minus x and then minus 1 equals 4x plus 5. Let us change the sign of the second term, negative 3x plus 2. So let us combine the like terms. 3x minus x is 2x. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Also on the other side of the equal sign, we have 4x minus 3x, and that is x. 5 plus 2, that will give us positive 7. And then let's transpose positive x to the other side. That will give us 2x minus x. And the negative 3 to the other side. That will give us 7 plus 3. By transposing, we need to change the sign. So 2x minus x is x. That 7 plus 3 is 10. Therefore, now, we have now the value of x. So we can substitute the x value on the given arithmetic sequence. So first term would be x plus 1. So we have 11. The second term would be 3x minus 2. 3 times 11 is 33 minus 2. Or, I'm sorry, 3 times 10 is 30 minus 2. We have 28 as the x value is 10. And for the third term, 4 times 10, we have 40 plus 5. And that is 45. And that is now our arithmetic sequence for the second example. Okay, let us try another example. The first three terms of an arithmetic sequence are 2x, x plus 4, and 2x minus 7 respectively. Find the value of x. Again, let us show 2x as a sub 1, x plus 4, a sub 2, and 2x minus 7 is a sub 3. That the difference 1 should be equal to the difference 2, and a sub 2 minus 1 or a sub 2 minus a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 minus a sub 2. That our x sub 2 is x plus 4 minus the a sub 1 or first term 2x is equal to 2x minus 7 for a sub 3 minus x plus 4 for a sub 2. Again, the first step is to remove all of the parentheses x plus 4, we don't need to change the sign of 2x as it is already a negative value. 
we will change the sign of the given terms if it's inside the uh, parentheses. Since 2x is not inside the parentheses, just leave it negative. Equals 2x minus 7, change the sign inside the parentheses, minus x minus 4. Combined like terms, we have x and negative 2x that will give us negative x and that we have plus 4. We do not have any number to combine with 4. Equals combine 2x and negative x, we have x. And negative 7, negative 4, we have negative 11. So again, finding x is to combine all of the x uh, variables. So transpose positive x. And that will give us another negative x. And let us transpose positive 4. And that will give us negative 4. So negative x minus x is negative 2x. And that is equal to negative 15. And divide both sides by negative 2. Cancel. That x is equal to positive 15 over 2. That is now the value of our x. Okay? And then for us to get the first three terms of the given sequence, 2x, 2 times 15 over 2, that will give us 15. The next term is 15 over 2 plus 4, and that will give us 23 over 2. And 2x. Minus 7, change the value of x to 15 over 2. That will give us 8. And these are the first three terms of the given arithmetic sequence. And I have this math challenge for you guys. If x plus 1, x plus 5, and 3x plus 1 are in arithmetic sequence, what is the value of x? If you know the answer, guys, just comment down below. And do not forget to hit like and subscribe for more of my videos. Thank you so much, guys.